Hi everybody, story 92, I mean story 35, episode 92, Gilly and Gulfuria, beginning part 1. Easy for you to say. Once upon a time in a land of dreams, a curious young girl named Gilly found herself falling down a deep gopher hole. As she tumbled through the surreal abyss, she entered a fantastical world called Gulfuria, a place where whimsy and wonder knew no bounds. Ciao! Once upon a time in a land of dreams, a curious young girl named Gilly found herself falling down a deep gopher hole. As she tumbled through the surreal abyss, she entered a fantastical world called Gulfiria, a place where whimsy and wonder knew no bounds. In Gulfiria, Gilly encountered a talking flamingo who led her through a forest of upside-down trees, a mischievous Cheshire dog that only appeared when it felt like it, and a tea party hosted by a fat fatter who wore a fat hat made of growing mushrooms. She met a friendly caterpillar that puffed out musical notes instead of smoke rings and a green rabbit that was always running late to absurd appointments. Gilly's journey in Gulfiria was filled with nonsensical riddles, peculiar characters, and ever-shifting landscapes. She grew and shrank in size, explored gardens that were painted in shades that had no names, and even ventured to the edge of an endless chessboard along the way. She encountered bizarre creatures and learned that the impossible was possible in this wondrous realm. With each twist and turn in her adventure, Gilly's perspective on reality shifted, and she discovered that sometimes, to make sense of the world, you need to embrace the absurd and let your imagination run wild. As she finally made her way back to the surface, she realized that Gulfiria had left an indelible mark on her, forever changing the way she viewed the world. As Gilly continued her curious journey through Gulfiria, she stumbled upon a serene pond nestled among the twisted upside-down trees. To her amazement, a tall elegant flamingo with vibrant pink feathers stood by the water's edge. The flamingo had a long, graceful neck and an air of sophistication about it. Gilly approached the flamingo, her eyes wide with wonder, and inquired, Excuse me, Mr. Flamingo, can you tell me how to get out of this fantastical place? The flamingo blinked slowly and then, in a refined and dignified tone, replied, Why, my dear, the way out is not a straight path. For in Gulfiria, the journey is the destination. You must embrace the surreal, let go of the need for logic, and follow the whimsy. That surrounds you. It is not a matter of finding your way out, but of finding yourself within. Hi everybody, Story 35, Episode 92, Gilly and Gulfiria, End Part 1. The flamingo blinked slowly and then in a refined and dignifying tone, she replied, Why, my dear, the way out is not a straight path. For in Gulfiria, the journey is the destination. You must embrace the surreal, let go of the need for logic, and follow the whimsy that surrounds you. It is not a matter of finding your way out, but of finding yourself within. Ciao.